Hi, good morning everybody. Hope everything is set up right here. I just decided to do this on a um, quick thought. Um, I want to give you my Weight Watchers update um, for yesterday. Yesterday was Weight Watchers Day. And also I've had a couple of requests um, for a makeup look that on video, a couple of videos that I did and um, it was with the uh, Tarte Amazonian um, Clay powder foundation so I thought I would do that so first of all let me say I'm just going to kind of talk through um, my progress with Weight Watchers and just demonstrate um, how I apply this type of uh, powder foundation so first of all my face has been um, um, prepped I washed I toned and moisturized and moisturized under my eyes Next, I'm going to just spend a little bit of time um, using my Rose Quartz uh, Gym Roller on my face, um, uh, mostly for my eye area because with sinuses it does help. And here I am going to apply the HelioCare. I've shown this before. It has SPF 50, great coverage, love it. It's just great to prime your skin and um, it acts as a moisturizer, so I really like it. And then a pore freshenal, I use that um, because I have enlarged pores in the T-zone area, so it helps. I have just concealed everything with the NARS concealer. And uh, my mirror's kind of far away, but I think that's about all I'm going to do. So basically I just dab it all over and then just kind of smooth it in. So yesterday was Weight Watchers weigh-in day. And, um, you know, what can I say? Guys, my body has plateaued. <laughs> it is really giving me a run for my money. And uh, I, okay, should I say I was frustrated? Uh, sort of. Um, discouraged? No. Because I know that this is all part of it. And you can go through these plateaus at many different times. Um, I happen to be so close to the end of my goal and it just seems to be that much more frustrating for me because I want to be at my goal but for whatever reason this is what my body is doing now I have to really examine am I doing and following uh, plan yes absolutely because I know what's coming up the holidays and I know it's uh, going to be difficult so and plus I've been feeling sick so I know my caloric intake is down and that's not really good but I am just trying to keep myself extra hydrated um, because I need to do that and rest and not force so I have been eating a lot of soups which are higher in sodium but you know not thick scoop soups like Lipton um, soup mix noodle soup mix and uh, just because it's soothing on my throat and it is sustaining to fill me up and yet it satisfies you know i just have so much drainage i just don't want to eat a lot it just you know it just makes you feel bleh. so i know i'm following and doing everything the way i should but it's almost like you know your body kind of wants to say oh sort of maintain it this way this is pretty good but when you're taking in less the process is to continue to lose and i have shared with you on this journey for the past 10 11 months basically I don't lose every week and usually about every second to third week I have a bigger loss that's just what my body does so I know the payoff is going to be there and I know I'll get there it's just a matter of being patient being diligent sticking with the program and not getting discouraged but this is me getting discouraged But it didn't last very long because I know it'll come off. Plus, I can tell in my clothes that I am losing inches. Um, and even what I have purchased in the last couple of months is now starting to even get looser. So, next, um, I am going to 
turn my little fan on in here because it's getting a little bit hot. Um, I am going to go ahead and share with you, this is the Fair to Light Neutral Amazonian um, Tarte Powder Foundation, and it looks like that. And then this is the Fair Honey. It's a little bit lighter and sometimes I have to mix. It just depends. If I want a little more color on my face, if my face is kind of pale, um, then I go ahead and um, mix the two. But it, I, it looks like I'm not too pale today, um, but we'll see. I might just have to dab a little bit on. And so what I do is I use this brush, and this is a Tarte brush that is designed for um, this particular powder foundation. You can use another brush, but I like this. It's dense. It's like a really dense kabuki brush, and um, I just get good results with it. So what I do is I just tap it down. Now there's a little mesh screen in there, and I just tap it down. It deposits the powder on the brush, and then I just start applying with gentle taps around in a circle until I go through my face. It's a real simple process. I'm just kind of showing it to you a little bit slowly. Normally I just tap, 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 tap and get it all on and kind of look at, okay, what's it doing color wise? It doesn't look too bad. And if anything, I don't think I need to mix right now. Sometimes my skin is really pale looking. Um, I think it's pretty good because what I'll do is I'll just bronze it up if I need to. But I like this because I just feel like I get really good coverage with it. Now you can see I'm tapping it on. I'm not buffing it in. Especially around my nose area where that skin is getting super thin like, you know, with those little tiny red little veins that kind of pop up sometimes okay and I also go down my neck and jawline and get it up and I think I think that's probably all I need to do now I like to use a really nice soft fluffy powder brush and I'm going to use my this is one of my powder brushes from It Cosmetic, and I have this one, these two. This is a bigger dome, but I like this one because now this is the process that I'm going to go and just smooth it all on. Smooth it all in, and I just do it all over. Now, I did not put any eye concealer on as of yet because with the powder foundation, I like to put it on after I do the powder. And I'm looking at a mirror from far away, guys, so I'm hoping that I'm getting the right application color. Yeah, I think it's okay. Let me just get my hand mirror and just check because I don't have my glasses on. Coverage-wise, I think it's good. Now Here I am just putting on Max Radiant Rose just to conceal and hide um, those dark circles. I think it does a really good job. I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger. Sometimes I use my Beauty Blender sponge and sometimes just a brush. It just depends. Oh, let's talk a little bit about, um, so I just basically have stayed the same, but I know, like I said, my caloric count has been down. I'm still following program. So I know that whatever I have done this past week and, you know, even what I did last week will come off and it will come off probably next week. Now, next week, we're going to have our meeting one day early. So that means one less day to um, have to, you know, work on losing for the week um, because of the holidays. Everybody wanted to have the meeting one day early, but uh, that's okay. You know, my goal is to get to the end of the year and hit my goal because, you know, I'd like not to have to pay and to just stay on maintenance. I'm going to let that sit in under my eyes for a little bit and then I will follow up and I'm using right now this Tarte um, 
This is like the fine powder. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator. It's um, the finishing powder, and I like to use that under my eyes. Um, I think it does a good job. I think today I will use the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the um, uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow, and it has a nice um, bronzer and a little glow thing. I don't use the glow thing too much, just a little because I like using my Chanel. So I'm going to just start putting a little bit of bronzing color there on my cheeks and on my jawline and bring it down. And here I just um, go on my cheeks and my jawline and then take it um, up through my hairline on my forehead and um, on the sides of my nose. It's a really light bronzer and it's very, very pretty. And even that uh, highlighter that's in it is also pretty, but I do like to finish it off with um, the Chanel that I use uh, quite frequently. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about strategies because we talked about that at the meeting um, yesterday. So for the holidays, I mean, guys, you know, and it's true. And I've already just put this in my head and convinced myself I am going to enjoy the holidays, no doubt about it. And I'm just not going to, um, I'm not going to stress over it. I've gone through holidays since I've been on the program, and I kind of have um, a theory that I think does work for me, um, keeps me on track, in line, and allows me to enjoy what I want to enjoy. I'm just doing my eyebrows now, guys. You've seen me do this a million times. The eyebrow pencil that I am using is um, by Hourglass, and I love it, love it. Um, it does a great job. I will link all of this below. I'm going to do Take a Taste Of. That's my thinking. It's called Take a Taste Of. And so what I do is I just take a tablespoon and... Um, you know, not really heaping. I just grab a tablespoon of an item I want to try. And I do kind of like, you know, just going to a buffet or a banquet, kind of peruse it, see what's out there, know what is available for you to eat, and then make the choices that you want um, as far as select. I mean, you don't have to try every single thing if you're at a party or you're at, you know, a big uh, feast for the holiday celebration and there's, you know, six or seven dips to choose from and meat trays and all that. But kind of peruse and look at, sorry guys, I have to use this mirror because I'm doing my eyebrows and... I need it for up close. I know I'm blocking, but I'll be done here in a second. So kind of peruse it and then make a decision. Okay, I would like to take a taste of and, you know, get a either smaller serving spoon and just do a teaspoon size if you know that you've selected two or three different um, dips. And just a little teaspoon, a taste of. Um, and then select a couple of little crackers that you might like um, to add um, one or two. Or, you know, you can put them in a little Ziploc bag, crackers of your choice, that will help you stay on track. Um, that's a good idea. Um, or just grab two baby crackers and use them for the little dips that you have. That's just a strategy. It's just so you don't go and fill an hors d'oeuvre plate that's just mounded over with lots of extra fat, lots of extra sodium that really causes you to retain water and to add that added weight. Um, but yet, 
a taste of allows you to still socialize, to still enjoy, and to feel like you're still a part of the activities that are going on. These are the things that I put in my mind. These are the things that we talked about at the meeting. And another thing is wear tight-fitting clothes. You know, something that's a little snugger around the waist or, you know, uh, maybe not such a loose-fitting sweater because that way it kind of reminds you Listen, don't overdo, just take a taste of. So that's kind of my way of thinking. Um, I like that take a taste of. I've used it for Easter, I used it for Thanksgiving, and then I say, this is the devil in me. There is something I am going to indulge in, and I am going to eat it, I am going to enjoy it, and I'm not going to beat myself up over it. And for Thanksgiving, for me, it was the pecan pie and the pumpkin pie. Now, I made the choice that I would take those pieces and skinny them down. And so I had what would be considered less than an average size piece um, that satisfied me. It gave me great taste. Um, I enjoyed it. And I had it. And I was done. So was it on my program? No. But was it the choice I made? Yes. So then you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. They were homemade pies. I don't get them very often. I made them myself. They were so good. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to beat myself up. So if I don't have a weight loss that week, or I stay the same, or I have a slight gain, it's okay. I know how to jump back on track. I know the tools that I've learned now to get back on track, and that's what I've done. Now, yes, okay, I'm going to continue on, guys. Now, since this has dried, I'm going to go ahead and set a little bit under my eyes. And I just have this little e.l.f. brush here, and I use, and this, again, is the finishing powder. And I just kind of start here and go down and just set, just so it doesn't move or uh, it doesn't really... Um, hide so much the dark circles but it helps um, so basically yes that's what I'm doing I am I know it's hard because look we've got New Year's Eve we've got New Year's we've got Christmas Eve we've got Christmas Day and plus those that are working you have all those parties and then the family parties and get-togethers and going out to dinner and you know this is the time I'd kind of like to spoil everybody and make some extra foods that we only have once a year and I am going to still do that I am I am just going to be very reasonable about how I do it okay I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow gel I think it's the best and this is the uh, Mac I forget the name of the color blush but I will list it below and then I finish it up with um, the finishing powder by Hourglass. I think that's a great finishing powder. I think I want to start with my Tom Ford Coco Mirage eyeshadow palette. This one guys, you know I use this all the time. So, um, so think through each holiday day, think through your parties, um, and, you know, really tell yourself, look for those vegetable trays, look for those fruit trays, get those fruit trays, vegetable trays out and scout them up, you know, load your plate with some great vegetables, cherries, celery, carrots, take a taste of a little dip just in the center. Use those if you want to stay away from the carbs on the crackers and the breads and stuff like that. Um, you know, if you like um, fruit, load up on fruit, and then that way you're much better in line for um, taking a taste of and feeling that sense of fullness. And that sometimes can keep you away from those higher fat, higher sodium foods. So that's my suggestion. Now that was just the white that I just went ahead and put all over. And you know, I have been using this Tom Ford um, on my lids. 
and I usually put this on first but yay I was jacking and I put the powder on but that's okay because um, I just think it kind of gives your eyelids a nice even tone color has a little bit of pinky to it and um, but it blends in really nice and I just think it kind of brightens your eyes so I am using the Urban Decay Honey Palette. I bought it this fall. I use it a lot. It's beautiful. has all the wonderful colors I love. And uh, I really don't have one particular style of shades that I do all the time. I just intermix them. And they're just always such pretty colors. And so think about it. Think about the acceptance of an invitation to go somewhere and think about what's the best way to socialize so that you're not being rude or insulting others and think about being able to be strong enough to just be able to say um, thank you no I I just you know I can't try that right now but it does look delicious or something like that because sometimes you know, you don't want to offend other people, but you want to do what's right for you, too. And remember, take a taste of. A little taste of sometimes just does it. And remember the thought process that I talked about a couple of weeks ago, taking a taste of after a couple of bites. It's pretty much you're not tasting it. So it's those first couple of bites. And so if you can get just a scant amount and you take a taste of, sometimes it really satisfies Another strategy that we talked about is walking away from an area where the temptation is. And so if you don't have to stand right there where all the food is, move yourself away. Go to an area where it's harder to just sit and grab something and, you know, just mindlessly put it in your mouth. So that's a good strategy. And these are things to think about. Um, before you get there you know what what do I need to do um, and if you have to guys grab a clear glass and just fill it with you know water or bring your own uh, tumbler and sip on it or uh, grab an iced tea or something that you can sip on to keep you occupied and your mind busy and never never go to a party and feel hungry ever 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 oh that's the worst another strategy is if you're going to family dinner or you're you know you need to bring a dish so I think it's totally acceptable bring a dish that everybody can enjoy and that you know they like and then bring a small portion if you want or a regular portion of a dessert that you've made that you know you can enjoy and so maybe you don't want you know maybe you're bringing a vet um, a casserole a vegetable casserole a hot dish and you just don't want it because maybe you think well it's too many carbs I can't really I don't want that because there's other foods I want so bring that and then bring a, a vegetable that you can enjoy that you know is safe and um, if that's what you prefer to do but there are things that you can do there are strategies that you can follow you just have to be willing to do it and here I'm using the uh, Urban Decay waterline pencil 24 7 it's great it does not smudge I am um, just now going to go ahead and apply the Chanel illuminator I love it I've had it for six years it just is the best illuminator um, powder I have ever used. And this is Charlotte Tilbury Mascara. So back to the strategies for Weight Watchers. Guys, enjoy the holidays. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the activity, the socialization. Don't get stressed out about it because there's been plenty enough that I'm sure um, brings on the stress just with the holidays and don't beat yourself up over it because I'll tell you it's not worth it it's oh okay this part's called uh, touch up just a little bit I think I like to put a little extra here 
um, it's not worth it. It's just enjoy and get right back on track. That's the whole key. It's when you don't get right back on track, that's when you screw up. That's when it becomes a major issue. Okay, and last, I am going to use this Glam Glow um, spray setter. I always spray one or two little sprays out because it can get too. This just kind of sets. This has a fine mist. I love it. And it feels good on. And I just kind of let it set. I don't use it all the time, but today because I just am going to be out running around um, and I want it to last. So that's it, guys. This is the demonstration uh, using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation. I do like it. I do use this a lot. Um, I think it's good for my skin. It makes my skin look good. Um, I like it and I think it has good staying power. Um, so um, well worth it. And I would recommend the brush with it because I just think it's a brush designed for it and it really does what it's supposed to. So let me go and dry my hair, get that done, and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. One. So to finish off this video and just kind of give a quick little recap, I did use on my face the Tarte um, Powder Foundation, and this happens to be Fair Honey. I also have the Fair Light Neutral, and sometimes I mix the two together. Today in the demonstration, I strictly use the Fair Honey, and uh, I love it. I get the coverage that I want, and if you apply this and you feel like you didn't get quite the coverage you want just reapply it so i really like this and i do think that using the brush that goes with the powder um, really does help because it picks it up there's that little mesh net that you don't have to shake this you just dab it into it it picks it up perfectly deposits on your skin then you can just buff it in i just think it's really good and i do wear that a lot i have to say for every day during the week you know just normal every day i use the tart powder i use the clinique uh, acne bb cream a lot for just a foundation and um, those are days that i don't you know use heavy foundation so i do use this a lot and i like it i think it's worth it and then to set under my eyes i went ahead and used the tarte smooth um operator powder that's also very good as a setting powder so that's all I'm going to talk about concerning uh, the makeup because I did do the demonstration in the video but to recap um, on some strategies during the holiday season let's talk about that um, we talked about this at our meeting what are some of the things you can do okay first of all have the right mindset think through what's coming up, what your activities are, what do you have planned, what parties are there to go to, or dinners, or family get-togethers, and think it through. If you're asked to bring a dish, bring a dish, and then bring something that you know you could have. If you're making a dish that's high in fat, high um, in sodium, high caloric count, and you don't really want to indulge in it, then bring something that you could have and share that's an idea also a strategy guys wear some snugger fitting pants something that goes around the waist that just kind of reminds you hey don't overdo it sometimes that helps and it just triggers you to keep things in line um, drink lots of fluid drink before you go if you know you have a dinner party at night plan your meals throughout the day and maybe make them those um, zero foods you know lots of fruits and vegetables um, fill up on that drink lots of water don't walk into a banquet or party or get together hungry that's the worst and then also when you get there peruse it look around see what types of food they have most times when you're going to a holiday party there are um, fruit trays vegetable trays and of course all kinds of dips and things so my strategy is 
Take a taste of, T-A-T-O, and grab a little teaspoon. I used this during Easter and Thanksgiving, and it really helped me. It really, really worked. Take a teaspoon of that favorite dip of yours, and maybe grab one or two crackers, not a handful. And if you have to, put your favorite little crackers in a baggie and bring them with you. That's a great way. Fill up on those vegetables. Um, celery, carrots, use that to take a taste of a special flavored dip that you want. And fill your plate with your vegetables and fruit. And then just make the choice of saying, you know what, I really like those Swedish meatballs every year when somebody has them. So take one, take a taste of. And I really like spinach dip. It's my favorite take a taste of. There you go. And drink lots of water, lots of, um, you know, or your favorite iced tea or something that's low in calories so that you can feel satisfied. You're participating, you're socializing, and you're having what you want. And you don't feel deprived because you were able to take a taste of those types of um, dips that you like. So you don't have to overdo it. Another strategy is move yourself away from the temptation. That's a strategy always, anytime. Move yourself away. And um, just know this is what I'm going to have and um, that's it. Now, you also, this is what I believe and this is my belief only. Um, I'm not saying that this is part of, you know, Weight Watchers practice, but this is what I believe in. Make a decision what you're going to have that you're going to indulge in and indulge in it within limits. For example, for Thanksgiving, I made homemade pecan pie, homemade pumpkin pie, and I was going to have a piece of each. So what I did was I cut a normal size piece and then I cut that in half of the pecan and the same for the pumpkin. And that's what I had. And I put Cool Whip on it, a little teaspoon on each, and I was very satisfied. On program, mm, probably not. Could I have had one piece? Yes. Um, did I overdo it? No, because I pretty much watched what I had throughout the day and I still enjoyed myself. I made a big huge um, tray and it had you know salamis and cheeses and prosciuttos, olives and I took a taste of and I made it satisfying for me and I had a couple of crackers so um, it was good and I didn't have that sick feeling at the end of the day where I felt like I'm so tired, I overate, I'm uncomfortable. It was good. And so same strategy. Now we have more days in the holidays, Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year's Eve, New Year's, plus all the work parties and get togethers and gatherings and just getting together with family and friends and going out to eat. So you have a lot more times that you have to really be careful but on those days I watch what I eat for breakfast watch what I eat for lunch and then I try to make wise choices and decisions um, like if I'm going to a, uh, get together or going out to eat um, because I don't want to overindulge every day it hurts when you take every day and you say I'm just going to have a little today of this and then tomorrow a little of that and then the next day that's when things start piling up and can snowball and get out of control so know what you have going on and just try to make the best choice don't beat yourself up over it listen I plan on enjoying myself for the holidays and I make foods that I don't normally have throughout the year and I am going to indulge in those foods and I'm going to take a taste of the things that I need to set aside to take a taste of and then I'm going to make the choice okay what do I want more of do I want that extra stuffed baked potato that I make really good at this time of year or am I gonna have um, that um, dessert, you know, uh, that bread pudding that I make every year. Or 
can I do both? Can I keep in bounds with my main meal and have some of that bread pudding and do that as my indulging for the day? Yes, you can. And know that there are always consequences with what you do, but just like staying on plan and staying on program for the whole entire week and then stepping on the scales and it says no weight loss um, or uh, you gain two ounces, do not get discouraged. That is not the key to this success. Let me say it again. That isn't the key to this success. I'll get to my goal weight because I'm determined to. I am close. And I know that what I've done in this past week and the week before will show up on the numbers. So I'll get to my goal. But that's not the only thing that I can focus on or that I need to focus on. I need to focus on the right mindset. So these are some strategies to use during the holidays. Number one, be joyful, be happy, make good choices. And so what if you have that extra piece of Boston cream pie? So what if you have that dinner with your family at Cheesecake Factory and have that cheesecake? Do it. Next bite get back on track. That's the best advice I can give you. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a combination of everything put together and it's kind of choppy, but I did want to demonstrate that Tarte Foundation Powder and I did want to catch up on my Weight Watcher um, non-loss, just staying the same, plateaued, but I know next week it's going to be a big one. So um, I probably will see you next Monday because we have our meeting one day uh, early because of um, Christmas Eve. And so hopefully I'll have some great news to share with you uh, because any loss is a great um, it's a great day to have a party. And even if you stay the same, it's a great day to have a party. And especially if you can maintain during the holidays and not start the New Year's with that extra 10 pounds. That's exciting. So. Um, until my next video, be kind, be happy, age gracefully, enjoy your holidays, and I'll see you then. Bye!